use be supposed to and then the main verb goes here. When someone expects you to do something, the verb be changes in the present tense and the past tense. So you can use am, is, or are for the present tense and was or were for the past tense. Be supposed to is used for obligations and responsibilities. Someone expects another person or you to do something. Regarding pronunciation of supposed to, this D is not really pronounced. Don't say supposed to. The T is the sound that you hear when these two are together. It sounds like suppose without the D and then to, supposed to. In fact, a common spelling error is to drop that D and spell supposed to without the D. So this is what you actually hear someone say when they put those two words together. Supposed to. What are you supposed to do today? Supposed to. What are you supposed to do today? Here's the main verb. The Verb B changes according to this subject. And the answer, I'm supposed to meet someone this afternoon. Here's the main verb. And then here's the verb B. It changes because of the subject, I. And in this answer, this is the person who expects to meet me. I have to go to a location because someone expects me to be there. The verb do is regularly found in this kind of a question. What are you supposed to do? In the present tense, here's the singular, here's the plural. The verb be goes here. So, in the present tense, singular, after I, use am. I am supposed to, and then here is the main verb. Let's use go because it's short verb. I am supposed to go. You are supposed to go. Are matches you. For the singular, he, she, or it, use is, is supposed to go. And then for the plural, these all use are. We are supposed to go. You are supposed to go. They are supposed to go. In all of these examples, there's an expectation that the subject will do something. Someone else expects whoever this is, I, he, or you, to do something. I'm supposed to bring food to the picnic. Here's the main verb. Other people expect me to bring food. He's supposed to wear a suit in the office. Other people who work with him expect him to wear a suit. You're supposed to prepare for your classes. If you are a student, the teacher expects you to prepare for your classes. You have to do your homework. That's what you are supposed to do. To make the negative, put not between the verb be and then supposed to. You are not become you aren't. You aren't supposed to do that. Or 
you are become your not supposed to do that. Using not this way makes the statement stronger. You're not supposed to do that. Notice in this question and then in the answer, the subject will be you. As a driver, what are you supposed to do? So this you would apply to everybody, not just you. And in the answer, this form of you applies to everybody, not just you. You are supposed to obey the traffic laws. Here's the main verb. As a driver, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to obey the traffic laws. If you change this to the past tense, you just need to change the verb be. So then this becomes, I was supposed to go. You were supposed to go. Any of these, he, she, or it, was supposed to go. And then these all use were. When you use this in the past tense, it sounds like you did not do something, or perhaps you did, but in most cases, you didn't do whatever this activity is after two. I was supposed to wake up early today. And then you could add on to this, but I didn't. This matches the tense. This is in the past tense. This is something that I did not do. I was supposed to wake up early today, but I didn't. She was supposed to go to class today, but she didn't. Someone expected her to go to class, but for some reason, she didn't go but she was supposed to go. He was supposed to finish some work yesterday. And then we can put a comma here, but he ran out of time. And this would be the reason why he didn't finish the work. He was supposed to finish some work yesterday but he ran out of time. It is possible to use was supposed to when talking about a future situation. So if someone asks you, what are you doing tonight? And then here's your response. I was supposed to go see a movie, but I changed my mind. This is the original plan, but then things changed. You could also use, I am supposed to go see a movie, but I changed my mind. Either am or was will work here because the expectation was created in the past.